I don't know. Uh, in terms of his comeback tour, he needs to stay in. If he gets out, he's finished for life. But at this point, it's so oh, he's damaging. Gonna write books. He's not finished for life. He's going to have a third act but, for but sure. Who, but who's going to buy the book? Oh, anybody I, will buy it. I don't know People about are buying that. newspapers. Look, they love look, to read look, this. Look at, uh, look at uh, John Edwards' uh, mistress who wrote a book. Mm -hmm. No one bought it. Oh, this is not. I don't. It, it's so bad at this point. I don't think anybody's going to buy his book. Mm. It, a few it's shops over. In the village yeah. where I think yeah, I'm yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Uh, <laughs> You know who will buy the book? Joke Any shop. shrink in the country would pay to examine this guy because to run for office and to go out in public when you know you have these skeletons lurking in the closet, you've got to be some sick pup to do that. And to me, the judgment in doing that is appalling, and that's what disqualifies well, this guy for office. You, Forget about what he did on the internet. You on something, Mark, that, listen, I, I don't think anybody's going to debate his judgment, lack thereof, recklessness, really, but the narcissism. And you that's guys, exactly and right. you guys don't have to put man. names on He's these. He's a great man. But the public by needs By definition, him. candidates, when they run, have to think he or she is the greatest thing great since sliced yeah. Napoleon. But the idea that he went through the gauntlet, the public shame, all the lying and all but the finger wagging, caught the humiliation. The wife has a kid. They have a kid. He does the People magazine spread. And the idea that he would continue to do this when he knew he'd get caught. I mean, there's no way that he would. He already, he, he, his exhibit A, he just looks yeah. in his own personal thing. The idea to do that and still think that you're going to win and go ahead and do this. Uh, Bill, it's, uh, that to me is, uh, I'm not a shrink, but that is yeah. certified. Well, that's, I mean, that's the flip side of his delusions of grandeur is the death wish, because you have to have a death wish to parade uh, this out in if, public. But if, if, if you're going to find any positive spin on this. Oh, my God, it, I'm waiting it, for this any, one. Anything, <laughs> it's maybe that people, Americans, New Yorkers especially, will learn a little bit about addiction. This guy's got a real problem. Besides the anger, and I feel it too, because he's embarrassing New York City. He's making a, a joke out of a mayoral race, a very serious mayoral race. The city has to make a transition mm -hmm. from a 12-year mayor, Mayor Bloomberg, a very steady guy. Uh, so there's, there's an anger factor there too. But on the human factor, mm -hmm. you've got a guy who's clearly out of control here. And it's titillating to watch, and we like to poke the arrogant politician. But this is a human crisis playing out on a pretty big stage. Mm -hmm. And if there's anything good here, maybe other people that have this kind of problem see it. Maybe people who have addictions in other areas see it because what he's doing is insane. It's not rational. But his addiction mm -hmm. isn't confined to sex or looking at things on the Internet. He has an addictive personality generally because he's addicted to the spotlight to go into the spotlight maybe, maybe. with the other addiction lurking yeah. in the background. He's but, just cracked. Right. But as, as Richard said, after, after he went through, I mean, he lost a seat in Congress that he had coveted for years. Mm -hmm. He almost lost his wife. He went through the most public humiliation possible and then went back and did the exact same thing. Right. What maybe, causes that? Maybe yeah. this is some I mean, sort of yeah. self-punitive behavior. Mm -hmm. yeah. That's what this uh, is. You know, I'm tempted to stay out of this one because <laughs> I, <'cause laughs> I, I, I don't think he's an addiction. I think that he just has needs that he needs to serve. And, and you know, I, look, I think this is probably a fatal blow for him politically. I, I, it's probably not likely that he recovers from this. But I'm still not convinced that it necessarily should. I know I got in a little trouble for saying this last night, but... <laughs> It's not, it's, it's, to me it is not reflected on how he would run the city or whether he would be, uh, you know, a candidate. And for you, or, or and for, you be able to and for those of you who weren't here with Dominic, Andrew, myself, and our panel, um, after we did the double take after Andrew said this, we jumped on him. So for those viewers <laughs> who saw this before, I don't want to hit repeat <laughs> on it, but where we will eternally debate, my, uh, disagree, my friend, and I, do, I know Dominic is with us, being of any elected office, you have to have judgment and you have to have some level of discretion. Mm -hmm. And the idea that you could manage New York City and be able to be so reckless with one's life, personal life mm -hmm. here, but also just lie so yeah. casually, and then you're going to somehow exempt that and compartmentalize it. That has nothing with your ability I'm to just, govern. I, I'm, just yeah. I mean, out, I'm just going to point out, we, we had a mayor of New York City who dumped his wife at a press conference. We had a president of the United States who engaged in an affair in the Oval Office. We had a governor of New York who broke the law by getting involved with a prostitute. And in all three cases, most people in retrospect said, eh, they could probably still do the but job. But here's the issue. Nobody at this table a week ago, Andrew, was saying that he That's didn't right. have a qualified chance to be mayor after That's he right. did it once. Yeah. That's right. The issue is he did it again, and he did it again not only after he was caught, 
but he did it again when he was contemplating running for office. Mm -hmm. So the definition, I'm not a shrink of self-destruction, seems to fit here, but I have a different question for you guys, which is, Evan, have we found the basement yet for what the public won't abide by anymore? I mean, you can screw around. Not only can you hold office, but you can win re-election, and this is a bipartisan thing, right? right. Uh, you can be caught being a crook here, and you can even go back. Yeah. Have, is there any line that we won't cross as an electorate anymore if we like the guy? I think crook, uh, you know, actually breaking the law, doing something that violates the public trust, like stealing money uh, from the taxpayers, is probably the thing that people will not forgive. Uh, I really do think that. Maybe you could come back years later and figure it out. This is a close second, and again, it's not because uh, he did these things with these women. It's because he continued to mislead over and over again, and as has been discussed, after the fact, he was already caught, he was already out there apologizing for it, saying he would never do it again. He did it again, and I do agree that it's an addiction, and I don't think that lets him off the hook either. I don't think that's a way of saying he couldn't help himself. Yep. He could have helped himself a year ago, and as Bill said uh, very astutely in his column in AM New York today, he didn't, and that probably means that he's not getting help at all for this, and any sane person, smart person, and certainly anybody that would have the second hardest job in the world, which is being mayor of New York City, would at least go to somebody, try to figure out what's wrong with them, and deal with it. And, and by the way, nice plug, very nice piece, by the way, uh, <laughs> that you wrote. Um, as, as how, you guys are in politics. How do his advisors not know about this he and let him go forward this time around he doesn't have years uh, well his wife is an advisor she's in politics that, that's yeah. true i mean and she's a very very smart woman yeah she uh, is but uh, but that's the biggest shock but, I, I think, I think yeah, you're rich your question which is a great one i think for almost anything today you get a second chance and i think the second chance that anthony weiner got speaks well to new yorkers that they were willing to give him that second yes. chance but do, but but don't make monkeys out of us yeah. right like that's you know yeah. no third chances Richard, you know, I, I really feel bad for Mr. Weiner because Bill is right. This is an addiction, and it, it's not funny. This is not a punching line anymore. Mr. Weiner needs professional help. He re he had, he, he, okay, let's be honest, the things that I don't talk about. Before, when he was a congressman, he was a ladies' man. So maybe that's, all, I mean, this guy dated a lot of women. That's what not, has not been talked about. But he wasn't married, so none of yeah. us said anything about that. So maybe in his mind, he doesn't understand. I, I don't know. You, he he needs better, help, and it's over. Was he still single when he was doing this? I mean, no, no. not taking pictures of yourself. The, the possible I mean, mayor of New York. I mean, do you want to be held up for blackmail, <laughs> literally? I mean, it's yeah. not a stretch. It's, it's yeah. just... It's, it's, but he also had point. family yeah, members no, reaching out to the woman to try and keep her quiet, I Andrew. Yeah. But I mean, the, is there the any line? The argument is, 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 is terrifying. I don't, I don't buy the blackmail argument for a second. First of all, uh, every time this has happened, it's come out. It's not like there's a big a, secret that you can hold it for ransom. Part. That's the sick part. We're talking about political reporters in New York City. He we don't believe we don't believe anything a politician says to us. Not that it needs anymore, but we talked about... The site that he was on was known to be populated by not just teenagers, but preteens. Mm. And he consciously went there to try and avoid a spotlight using names like, think about it, a mayor of New York going by a pseudonym Carlos Danger and trolling websites for preteens. He has if to have wanted not, to get caught. He has to have wanted to get I, caught I think and you're right. playing out some yeah. public uh, psychological drama. Uh, that's just the only think, explanation. Right, now let me ask some quick political questions while we have time. And one is, who's the beneficiary of this in the pool? In Christine Quinn seems to have been most immediately because uh, she uh, sort of flipped on him in the latest poll and seemed to gain everything he dropped. There were a couple. He actually, to your point, yeah. was leading with female uh, voters he was, here in New York, which was a shocker. In I think something right. that's, that's got to go. I think her, something right? that's important to remember, by the way, though, is that. Uh, the polls that he did best in were of voters, not likely voters. Um, also, on election day, institutional yeah. candidates that have union support, people that can put boots on the ground, do far, far better. Yeah. Also, last point, Bill, or, uh, Bill Thompson yes. Uh, yes. does not show up in polling his, his support among blacks and Latinos. I mean, he's polling at 5% for Latinos. <laughs> That's absolutely wrong right so so he he and, is and very and orthodox as well yes orthodox and, and truth, it's yeah. and so it's back to a two-person race in my mind mm -hmm. uh, between uh, mr. Thompson and and uh, Christine Quinn but um, uh, even Bill de Blasio got a little bit of a bounce from from winners downgrade so so look uh, he seems to be going further and further down the real question now is um, is he going to be able to arrest the the slide 
uh, and keep this base 20, 21, 22% that he could maybe build on, maybe gain some pity six weeks out still has you know some time right to turn I'm that reaching. anger into pity. I'm reaching. Uh, yeah, that's what I mean, you're doing right now. That's, the only, reach, that's the only hope that he has. Because worse, it ain't getting better. But yeah, that's what's right. going on in his Lou. mind. Yeah. Everybody yeah. 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 but Lou. But, uh, but, but, but yeah. de Blasio, and I know he's a, he's a long shot still, but de Blasio gets a little bit of a boost here too because there are two Brooklyn guys. Yeah. And de Blasio picks up a lot of that Brooklyn vote. And I think he wisely, and you saw that Thompson Quinn did not do this, he was the first one out the gate saying he needs to get out of the race. And he, I'm sorry. No, no, it's okay. I, I got to hit a break, and one thing I'd love to talk about uh, more, we will in days, is could there be fallout? To Dominic's point here, uh, obviously, Uma Abedin directly associated with the woman she worked for, both in the U.S. Senate and then at the State Department, uh, Hillary Clinton. Could this have any legs to it beyond just the election uh, this fall? Okay. When um, What we want to do is ask you folks at home, keep this conversation going online. Just go to Facebook and Twitter and sound off. What part of this scandal angers you the most? And you've got a menu to pick from, as you heard here in our first segment. But when we come back, we shift gears and we focus on the Zimmerman trial. And another juror has spoken out. If you haven't heard what you had to say, you need to hear it, saying in no uncertain terms that she believed George Zimmerman got away with murder. We're going to hear from her next. I've got a lot of questions for Mark about what this says, good or bad, about the justice system. Stay with us.